Hi everybody, this is Boog S Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Gold Label Walmart exclusive Catwoman figure. So before we take a look at Catwoman, let's take a look at the accessories that she comes with. So first up, she comes with your standard DC Multiverse base, and she benefits highly from having this. Um, she has heels, so she is a little difficult to get standing, so this definitely helps to stabilize her when you're posing her around. Up next, she comes with this really awesome foil card. This data file looks really good. I like how it has that foil effect to it. And then there's the back. If you want to read that, go ahead and pause that now. And finally, she comes with her whip. And her whip looks really nice. It has some pretty nice sculpt detail to it. The only downside is it really should have been bendy wire. I think that would have been great. So um, it's really just stuck in this position, but it doesn't look too bad. Surprisingly, the whips are different. On the regular release, um, you can see it has a little bit of a bend to it, and this one is just more straight down. So yeah, I, I actually thought these were the same whips, but now that I have them side by side, they are different. So now let's go ahead and take a look at Catwoman's head sculpt. So taking a look at this head sculpt, this head sculpt is a big improvement over the previous version. This one features a correct mask. The previous version featured an incorrect mask, and there was an unmasked one where the mask just came up to here. And this is definitely the best version out of all of them, because I think this is actually a really good likeness of Zoe Kravitz. Even though you can't see all of her face, I still think it's a pretty good likeness of her. You can see her hair is sculpted here at the back, curling on the side of her face there. The texturing to the mask looks really good. Yeah, this one really looks great. She has some really nice sculpt detail to her suit. That leather texturing is really awesome. The zipper is sculpted really nicely. Down here on her stomach, she does have this weird part that's a little discolored. I'm not sure what that is. Um, the bodies, I'm pretty sure they're exactly the same. Yeah, the bodies are the same. And this one actually has that same issue. I'm just now noticing it now that I'm holding it up to the light. Uh, right there, it has that same issue. Um, I do think the waist is tapered a little too much because it was tapered just a little bit because of the belt being right there. But yeah, I feel like it uh, tapers in just a little too much right there. She has some different shades of black. She has that matte black for her suit, the gray right here, and then the gloss black for the gloves. Um, these cuffs are a separate piece. They're really soft so they don't hinder the articulation at all. She has a little bit of a color difference there on her boots. Again, this figure is sculpted very, very nicely. That texturing is really good. It looks great. Um... I do think the ball joints are a little distracting on this figure. Normally the ball joints don't bother me, but they're pretty noticeable. Which, uh, Todd McFarlane has been experimenting with new ball jointed um, ankles here. I think uh, Ultraman and Aquaman, two figures I haven't reviewed yet, um, I think they used the new ankles. So it would have been cool if they would have updated these ankles because I do find that to be a little bit distracting. So now let's go ahead and go over her articulation. So she has a ball jointed head and neck that can look up just about all the way. She can look down all the way. She can move her head side to side and spin all the way around. She has ball jointed shoulders that can move out really far. She has butterfly joints that can spin around very nicely. She has a swivel to bicep, double jointed elbows that can bend in all the way. She has ball jointed wrists that can move up and down and move all the way around. As I said, the cuffs don't hinder that. She can crunch back all the way. She can actually crunch forward a pretty good bit too. She can move side to side here. And it's a little crunchy, but you can get it moving down here on the waist. Um, she has hips that can do a complete split. She can kick forward all the way. But uh, the downside here is that on this one, I split the uh, piece right here. So you definitely want to be careful of that. It is a thin plastic, so if you push it any farther, you do run the risk of ripping that piece right there. She can kick back all the way. She has a really nice thigh swivel. She has double jointed knees, ball jointed ankles that can move down all the way, up all the way, spin all the way around, and toe articulation. So now, let's do some size comparisons. So first up, here she is next to the first version of the figure with the incorrect mask. Here she is next to my repainted Batman. Here she is next to the Penguin, and finally there she is next to the Riddler. So overall, I would highly recommend picking this up, because this is definitely the best and most accurate version of the figure. This release actually surprised me and a lot of other people, because to my knowledge, this hasn't even officially been revealed yet. Um, this ended up just getting released at Walmart stores. So yes, if you can find this figure, definitely pick her up. This is definitely the best version of the movie Catwoman figure. 
So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.